Hello, uh, in this video I'll talk about the radioactive dating game uh, you can download from Colorado. I'll put the link in the description and after you download it and it should look like this, you can change the tab. Uh, I think I will just cover the last two which uh, is something to do uh, for you to understand carbon, carbon dating. So uh, let's take a look here. So what you can do is uh, you can plant a tree you can see the carbon actually, you know, doesn't, okay, okay, it's now dead. So we can see here is uh, once it's dead, the carbon-14 uh, percentage keep dropping because um, the amounts of carbon-14 that you have in your body would, would be fixed depending on your mass. So if you have more mass, then of course you have more carbon-14. But after you're dead, uh, they will start to decay. And this is what we find out physically. And using this property, uh, then we can estimate how long it is by looking at the percentage and how many years it is. Uh, at the same time for rock, um, it would be similar, but instead of carbon-14, we have to measure it by uranium-238. So uh, it, it works very similarly. They will also decay over time, but then the half-life is much, much longer, as you can see from the, from the years. And this is also how the archaeologists determine the the time uh, when the rock maybe is um, given out from the volcano or etc. Okay, so here's some basic idea about how to do the measurement. Here's a game. Okay, I want you to play uh, if you want. You can just try to play, go straight to play if you want. Uh, if not, you can also try to listen to my, you know, some uh, basic instruction. So here, uh, there is a probe where you can try to measure things. You can also measure air, but I don't, I don't know what's the function of this. Uh, but then I think mainly it's just to measure object. Okay, so you can put it to anything that you like to measure uh, at like an archaeologist. And you can put, let's say, this living tree and for its carbon, carbon-14, and apparently it's still living, so the carbon-14 is 100%. Uh, so I don't know whether I can estimate. Can I say it's zero? Yeah, it's actually zero, you may say. Uh, I mean, this year is actually the years from this, uh, the time when, it's, when it died, basically. Say for this skull, uh, it's at 98.2% of carbon-14. So what you can do is, uh, you know the half-life is about 5,800. Of course, you, you can do um, calculation for that. But then, uh, since you have a nice tool here, you can tr try to drag. You can simply go to drag until 98.2, okay, which is about 148 years. And you show you a cor um, the answer is correct. Uh, if you type a wrong answer, let's say for this living tree, you type say uh, 100, it will be wrong apparently. So you can try to uh, change your answer. And this apparently is uh, zero also. So uh, you can also try say, let's say this one, this bone, okay, 83.9. If you like to try, you can pause the video and try yourself. If not, then uh, I would try right now, 83. Okay, roughly. Okay, so I think I think about uh, one four three zero. Okay, it's, it has a certain range, so it doesn't need to be that accurate anyway. Uh, let's try this one. Okay, fourteen point four. Okay, fourteen point four is around here. So wow, sixteen thousand years ago. Okay, for this like apparently the the deeper you go, it will be uh, older as you I think you should all know from primary also. Let's take a look of this of this human scout. Uh it is 0.8%. And if you try to drag this, you find out hey there isn't anything more. You you just stop at 10.9%. So you can't actually do 0.8% from this graph. I want to give a challenge to you. Um how many what is the answer of this basically? Um you can try to download this if you want um, and try it out by yourself. Okay, so please try to pause the video right now and I'll, I'll show you how we can find out the answer. In the past, some of my students uh, can figure it out, so I'm sure you can figure it out as well. So pause the video now and try to figure out the answer. Okay, so uh, the first thing that we need to know is uh, this graph is just for assistance so you, you you don't actually have to rely on this graph always and 
one thing you have to know is that uh, the half-life of this carbon-14 is actually 5,700 years roughly. And think about this, all right, this is 0.8%. So let me write down the information that we have. All right, it's a very interesting question. So 0.8% is what we have, and you know the half-life is 5,700 years, okay? Think about this, uh, when the skull was just, you know, produce, I don't know whether I should use this word, it's 100%. And after one half life, how much is left? 50%, right? And after another half life, 25% is left. And you can deduce the rest, right? 12.5%, 6.25%, and then 3. Point, well, let, let's just say 3.125%, and then what's more? Okay, maybe I have to go like this way. 1.5%? Is it? Yeah, one, rough, roughly 1.5%. And then it was 0. Point, it is now 0 0.8, right? So about the next, actually it's five something, right? So uh, roughly for the next half life, it will reach 0.8%. Okay, so basically this is how you work out how old that human skull is. And that is by counting how many half-life are there. So uh, you can count one, two, three, four half-life, five half-life, six half-life, seven half-life, right? And each half-life you know that it, it will take that many years. So take out your calculator, uh, you can try to calculate seven times 5,700 that would be about 39900 years all right for this skull to form uh, with such radioactive source so let me try it out 39900 39900 okay that's correct all right so this is the correct answer uh, for the things like the rock uh, they would not have carbon because simply the rock are not living organism uh, as you know living organism then they have carbon because they need to eat and that's why they have carbon like glucose uh, or bread like starch you eat they contain carbon but rock doesn't have to eat what they have instead is uh, uranium uh, and you can also use the same technique to estimate uh, the the age of the rock as well I'll leave it to you and I think for yeah all these you can find on the graph actually so it's not very challenging I think the most challenging one is just now the one that we did so try the game and enjoy it